Hi, oh, we're back to our five minutes Chinese. Today we'll continue to learn some characters. Not to learn some characters. Learn how to write some characters. Last week we introduced the six basic strokes of characters. Do you remember what they are? Hung. Sorry. Hung. Shu, pie, na, dian, ti, mm. horizontal, vertical, left following, right following, dot, and rising, and up. Right? Okay, today, like what I mentioned last week, we need to move on. Move on to what? Learn some characters? No. Before we start, Officially, to learn how to write characters, some characters, we have to learn some basic knowledge. What we will learn today is stroke order. Stroke order. Before we learn stroke order, let me tell you something. The majority of Chinese characters are formed by more than two strokes. Of course, you can see some characters only comes with one character, one stroke, like e or. R, or sometimes Ren, uh -huh. but they are very few. The majority, the most of Chinese characters are formed by more than two characters. So for most of characters, there are two things you need to take, um, pay attention to, what they are, what they are. The first thing, the first point you need to be very, very careful is all characters, all characters comes with, comes with ways more than one strokes, all strokes have directions. What does it mean have directions? Okay, let me tell you. You think this line is very easy, very easy. But in Chinese characters, first we don't call it line, we call it heng, heng. Second, you can only write as this direction. From left to right. You cannot from right from right to left. So hey, what is the difference? The result is the same. Like what I said, no. We value more the process than just the result. So for the horizontal for heng, you can only write from left to right. Never write from right to left. That is the Chinese character's directions. Same thing for this. Shu. You can only run from the top to the lower part. You cannot run from the bottom to the top. It's totally wrong. It's totally wrong. <clears throat> okay, next one. The left falling part. The left falling part, you can only run from the top one to the lower part. You cannot run like this. It's not a join. It's not a join. Ah, okay. This is what I mean directions. This one, the right following, same thing. You can only write from the top to the higher part to the lower part. You cannot write like this. No. And same for dot, dn, dn. You cannot write like this. Last one, so same thing. The rising one, you can only write from the bottom to the top part. You cannot write like this. No. So that is what I mean, directions. All the strokes have their own special directions. Special directions. That is what I just told you. And except the directions, I said the two things you need to pay attention to. Second thing is, since the majority of Chinese characters are formed with more than two strokes, so among all the strokes, they have stroke order. That means which one should go first, which one should go second, right? And you think, really? As long as I can finish that character, I think that's fine. No, again, we value more process than just the result. So the order is a very, very important, very important. Okay, let's take a look at what is the order. What is the rules for the orders? I think, and there are, if you read different textbooks, 
I think we'll tell you different rules, but the basicals are same. The basic rules are same. Same for the days. The strokes, basic strokes. Because I was asked by some people said, Hey Ping, I was told that there are ten or some people tell me I was told that there are nine basic strokes. Why you only told us uh, there are only six? Let me tell you. Six are basic ones. Six are basic ones. Like some strokes is like this. In some textbooks, they think this is one one stroke, one basic stroke. I think this is two parts. This part and this part put them together. You got it? So this is what I mean. Different textbooks will tell different things, but I think what I'm just to tell you guys is the simplest one. It's the simplest one. So don't feel confused. And if you feel confused, ask me. Ask me. Okay. Mm. Let's continue. Order. Like what I said, I think there are eight rules, but probably in some other textbooks or in some other some other instructors will tell you, oh, I think there are ten, even there are more than ten. Um, everyone's different, but everyone's right. That is kind of like what I tell students. Listen, don't don't feel confused just by the number. Look at what the instructor tells you. Are the same? You should have your own judgment. And you pick up the one you think is the easiest one. I think what I tell you is the easiest probably you say, hey, I, I don't think Ping told us it's the easiest one. Pick up the easiest one. You need to compare and you can you can find the one best for you. Okay, anyway, let's take a look. The first rule is for the order. The first rule is when we meet these two, horizontal should go. Before vertical, you got it. Horizontal should go before. Sorry, uh, um, yeah, horizontal should go before vertical. 横要在竖之前写。横 horizontal, vertical 竖 vertical. 横这是一个这个汉字是十. This character means number ten. So you cannot write like this. It's totally wrong. You got it? Mm. Horizontal should go before mm, a vertical. The first rule is pretty easy. You only need to remember number 10. Okay, second rule. I give you some characters. <clears throat> this one we learned in season one probably. Means people. Ren. Ren. This one, if you pay attention to the order, uh, how I wrote it. Yeah. The left falling down should always go before the right falling down. You have to run like this. That's wrong. The reason is number two, the rule of number two for stroke order is the left falling down always go before the right falling down. You got it? So this one is wrong. This correct. Mm. Sentence number three. Not sentence number three, sorry. Rule number three. I hope I encourage you, you can write down all this as your notes, okay? You will not lose it. Rule number three. Upper stroke always go before the lower one. Let's take a look at number two. You cannot write the bottom one first and then this. No. Always the upper one go first, lower one. This is number two. How about number three? If you write like this, wrong. Clear? So upper. Stroke goes before lower. Rules number four. Rules number four. The left stroke, the left part go before the right part. Uh, let's take a look. This river will learn. Ch. 
there's a two parts. Chi means to eat. To eat. There are two parts in this character, right? We always go left part, then right part. You cannot write like this. It's wrong. It's wrong. So rule number four is pretty easy. Always goes from left to right. Move from left to right. Rule number five. Outer strokes go before the inner strokes. Outer strokes go before the inner strokes. Remember in, I cannot remember which season, we learned a very funny character is this. I ask you to guess. I ask you to guess. What does that mean? Pris we put people into the box. That means prisoner. Prisoner, right? Mm. But how did I write that? Look. Right? Mm. That's what I mean. The outer strokes. This is outer. Right? Compared to this one, we, we call this the outer. Go before the inner. You cannot write like this. It's wrong. It's wrong. Because you cannot write the inner strokes first. We also write the outer strokes first is the inner one. Clear? Mm. Sinus lumber. Not sinus, sorry, I keep saying sinus. La Jewish lumber six. Inside strokes should go first before you close the strokes as a frame. This one, even when I'm explaining to you, I feel not very comfortable. The inside strokes should go before you close the outside frame. What does that mean? I should still use this. This prisoner as example. Inside strokes should go before you close the outside strokes as a frame. You got it? Ah, one more time. Inside strokes should go before you close the outside strokes as a frame. Oh, now I got it. So what ping means is you cannot write like this way. Okay, then I put you inside. No, just to think about that. You have already closed the door. How can you let people inside? Go inside. Right? You have already closed the door. How can you let people go inside? You can only do the correct way is you build a house, then you leave a door open there, then you put the people go inside, then you close the door. Leave it there. Leave him there. Right? That is the uh, normal logical. So it's not hard for you to, uh, to remember now after Ping's explanation. Right? I hope so. You build a house first. Other people, how people can, where people can live or stay. Then put people there. Then close the door. You cannot close, you cannot close the door. Build a hey, I'm done with the house. I close the door. Nobody will go to open the door there. Okay, bye-bye. I will be prisoned here. No, right? <laughs> this, so this is wrong. Got it? So that is what I mean. The inner strokes go first before the last, the, before you close the outside stroke as a frame, as a frame. Okay. Rules number seven, rules number seven. If you meet the character comes with not the left part or right part, it has the middle strokes. What you should do? Always the middle stroke should be written before the two sides. Let's take a look at this. Small, 小狗, 小猫, 小狗, 小猫, 小狗. Mm. This obviously is no left or right. It's the middle part because they have both sides, right? You should write the middle part first, then left, then right. You cannot write, oh, let's write left first, 
in the middle then right no when you meet the middle strokes always middle go first left right clear oh that is all the uh, rules it's not uh, eight seven good seven is the lucky number it's a lucky number in Western culture, right? Okay. Uh, do you need me help you review one more time in very brief words? Because I think, I believe, I can explain a little bit, I can help you a little bit better uh, to remember all the rules. If I were you, I will not remember all the rules in language. If I were you, I would prefer to remember all the characters remember by the characters okay like it's the order the sentence order rule number one number ten number ten what does that mean number ten means what uh, horizontal go before vertical horizontal go before vertical rules number two I remember Ren. That means the left falling part go before the right falling, right falling stroke. Rules number three, I remember, R or San. Number two, number three. That means the top one always go before the bottom one. The top one always go before the bottom one. Rules number four, that means when you meet the two parts left and the right, the left part always go before the right part. Rules number five. I number five and number six are both both the rules I remember I use Chiu. Chiu means prisoner. Prisoner as the example. Number five tells me I should go outside strokes first, then inside strokes. Outside strokes first, then inside strokes. But number six, number six tells you more about number five. Okay. When you're building a house, same same character. When you're building a house, you should leave the door open, right? So you can you should put the people inside, put stuff inside before you close the door. So you should let the inside strokes finish, then before the closing outside stroke. As a frame, as a frame. The last rule is when you meet the middle strokes, you should let the middle strokes go, the left. Right, and I use a xiao as an example. You got it? You don't have to remember all the rules by English, in English or in Chinese, but I encourage you to remember all the characters that you can draw the rules by yourself. If you really like our character series, please follow us. We plan to teach you once a week, once a week. And next week, let me tell you, we will not teach you the such basic theory because we are almost done the year. I we will learn some basic characters. You will feel have, have more fun. Then I will give you some very useful tips how to write that, how to help you remember how to write that. Okay, follow us. You will feel very rewarded. I hope. Okay, I see you tomorrow. 再见. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and comment if you really enjoyed. Also, if you want to watch more videos, please subscribe to us. If you are interested in donating to help us, please check the links below. Thank you. Bye.